What is up guys, Coding Jesus here. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys or walking you through rather a day in my life as a senior software engineer. Now, my day is a little unconventional and the way that I'm gonna be presenting my day to you guys in this video is by speaking to you guys about it and showing you guys videos and pictures of a day that I filmed a couple of days ago actually. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Well, as I mentioned, my day is unconventional. I wake up every day at around 4.30, and I'm not even going to lie, guys, I look hella crusty. Okay, I don't wake up looking majestic with perfect curls in my hair or whatever. I look hella crusty. And the first thing that I'll do is I'll probably weigh myself. Now, despite the fact that I'm trying to gain muscle, the scale seems to never move. It's always stuck at around 144, 145. So if you have any tips on gaining muscle, leave them in the comment section below. I weigh myself, and then I do my skincare routine. So that involves cleanser, toner, moisturizer, and then under eye cream to try to get rid of like uh, darker under eye bags. All right. Uh, once I'm done that, I will start working. I start work guys at 5 a.m. and I end at one. A lot of people in the comment section are gonna be like, uh, oh, is this the traditional software engineer life in quant? No, it's not, okay? For the first couple of years, I would get to work at nine and end at five, the standard nine to five. As I've worked longer and longer at the company that I work at, I guess I've gained more ability to manage my own schedule because my boss understands that I get my work done, get my work done in a timely manner, and that I'm able to manage my own time. And so I've kind of built that credibility in the organization to the point where I can kind of work any hours that I'd like. People totally trust me to get the work that I need done, done. So what I'll usually do is I will actually work from home at 5 a.m. till around 6, 6.30. Reason being is because I'm in Chicago and I don't want to get robbed, right? When it's really dark out, that's possible. I actually used to be in the office at 5 a.m. every day, but then I heard about somebody that got robbed right outside the office building at 5 a.m., so I opted to just work from home for the first couple of hours of my day. With regards to work, what I will do is I'll check my email, I'll review uh, merge requests that I might have outstanding comments on or merge requests that people have asked me to review, and then I'll kind of get into my work. My work involves, first of all, looking at whether there's any outstanding support tickets, whether there's any outstanding kind of uh, inquiries as to bugs that people have in applications or whether they're not sure if the behavior is correct, I might investigate that. If it's something that requires more work than usual, what I will do is I will like, kind of make a ticket out of it and get back to it later. Uh, maybe speak to my boss about priorities related to existing tasks that I have. But the majority of my day, guys, is coding. If I'm not reviewing code, I am actually writing code. And of course, if there's a meeting that happens at 2.30 and my day ends at 1, I'll still get on the phone and be there in that meeting or I'll go into the office and be there, right? So while my day not while my day ends at 1 formally, I recognize that there are other obligations that I still need to be a part of as a part of being in an organization. So I'm not going to be like, oh, it's 1, bye guys. I know you, have, you want me in a meeting at 2, but the, my day is over. I'll be there for that meeting. This particular day, I got off at 12.00. I decided to actually go to a motorcycle store because I wanted to buy a tracksuit. Obviously, as a motorcyclist, you have various gear, leather jackets, abrasion-resistant pants, but I want to actually start kind of racing on the track and emulating those MotoGP guys taking the corners, and I need a tracksuit to do that. Put on a couple of different, you know, the base layer, put on my, a couple of tracksuits that should be my size, but none of them fit, so I decided to order a custom tracksuit, which is quite cool. You can kind of customize the colors and... And make it look cool and those things are hella pricey at around one i finished up there and i decided to take an uber to the local whole foods to buy myself lunch uh, the company that i work at actually provides really good catered lunches but i just prefer knowing exactly what's in my food and how many calories are in it what the ingredients are etc so i usually go to the hot bar at whole foods I got chicken with rice, added some lettuce, some onions, was really good. Uh, by the time I was done, I would say it was around kind of like 1.45, and so I decided to take an Uber back home. I got home at around 2, but usually at 2, I'm really tired, and what I do is because I start so early and wake up early, I'll take a nap in the middle of the day, usually between 20 minutes to 45 minutes, and that's exactly what I did. I took my midday kind of half an hour nap. Uh, when I woke up, I felt like having my brain both hurt and rot at the same time. So what I did was I decided to play RuneScape while solving a lead code problem. I like solving at least one lead code a day just to remain sharp. Um, at around 3.30, the local Jewish kid hit me up and asked me if I want to wrap tefillin. Tefillin uh, is kind of like a, 
a, a contraption you put on you made of leather that contains a prayer scroll. Uh, you wrap it around your arm and you put it on your head and you say a prayer, thanking God for our life, etc., blessing, etc. Um, the kid's really cute and it just takes a couple of minutes out of my day and he really enjoys being able to provide people with that opportunity. So why not? I, I, I went ahead and did that. God gives me a lot in my life. So spending a couple of minutes, just thank him for it. Not a big deal. Um, by then it was around four and I decided to hit the gym. Uh, I do around 20 to 30 minutes on the cycle machine. I usually read a book. I either read something technical, smut, or I watch a documentary on my phone. And I decided to take the book version control with Git with me. Uh, because I want to become really good at Git. I want to become like a Git god. Uh, most people know a couple of commands, and that's really all you need to know with Git, or 95% of Git, but I want to know kind of the advanced techniques and how to apply them. So that's that's what I was focusing on. That day I worked back and biceps. I couldn't really get much footage because I felt kind of clumsy just awkwardly recording myself curling or doing whatever exercise. I finished my workout at around 5, and I was actually on my motorcycle by 5.30. Some girlfriends of mine invited me to a local bike meet, and that was 30 minutes away, so I decided to ride out there, meet them there, kind of speak to different people, look at the different bikes that were there. It was really nice seeing a collection of different bikers. It's always cool to, to get to know other people. By the time I was done there, I would say that um, I got back at around 7. That's when I decided to eat dinner. What's really cool about the company that I work at is they provide like factor meals. So you always see sponsorships about factor, factor, factor on various YouTube videos. So they will pay for all my factor meals. You know, ate, watched a couple of YouTube videos, uh, kind of let myself relax. By the time that was done was around kind of 745. I started reading my Chinese material in preparation for my Chinese class the next day. Now by, I guess, 830, 845, Kind of started wrapping up my day, brushing my teeth, uh, showered as well because I was kind of sweaty from being under all that material in that motorcycle outfit. And by nine, I was back in bed. So that was a day in my life. That was just one day. Um, usually I do other things like Pilates classes that I have. I go to a place called Solid Core. Um, I do boxing as well, boxing and sparring. So some days I'll have one-on-one with my coach. Some days I will spar with other people, try to get in a couple of rounds with you know, people of various weight classes, various skill levels as well. <clears throat> Just in general, I always make sure that my day is packed with things to do. Uh, so I never feel like I'm just wasting time sitting and doing nothing. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it and would like to follow my life behind the scenes, I post almost no quant-related content on my Instagram, so don't go there expecting for me to answer questions about your resume. If you'd like to follow me, go to The Coding Jesus on Instagram. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me to talk about breaking into quantitative trading, you can do so in the Calendly link in the description box below. And if you'd like to watch this video early, if you'd like to become a patron, you can do so in my Patreon link in the description box below, guys. You also gain access to my exclusive Discord, in which you guys have um, pretty much open access to me, to other people in the community that are like-minded, and you can talk to them and me there as well. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Cheers.